Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we are going to do another special discussion. We are going to do something special, of course. We are going to talk about Daredevil. So today's Marvel news, we're going to talk about new article hot from the hot from the truck today is some uh, news from from Yahoo Entertainment regarding with Daredevil. Okay, so. Daredevil actor claims Marvel TV executive cut Asian story lines from Netflix series. Okay, this is recent, just happened today, so I just figured I'd talk about it. Okay, so thanks to bold shows like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, Netflix's corner of the Marvel Cinematic Universe frequently ventured into darker and more complex dramatic territory than its multiplex counterpart. But there were still some places where those now discontinued series didn't venture in a new interview streamed as a part of hashtag save daredevil con an online fan campaign to revive the cancelled series. Former Daredevil star alleges that former Marvel Television had Je Jeff Loeb instruct the writing staff to, ex to excise material intended for the show's Asian cast members, including Madam Gayo and his own character, Nabu Yashiakya. I don't even know how the fuck to say that, but whatever. I'm kind of reluctant to say this, but I have to say, because I just have to, I'm not into really protecting certain things anymore, the actor said. Jeff Loeb told the writer's room not to write for Naboo or Gaio. This was reiterated many times for many of the writers and showrunners. Shinkoda went on to say that Loeb's attitude was that nobody cares about Chinese people or Asian people, and from that executive producer pointed to the big screen Blade trilogy based on Marvel's vampire turned vampire hunter as evidence, Wesley Snipes killed 200 Asians in each Blade movie. Nobody gives a shit, so don't write about Naboo and Gayo. So the writers were forced to put their own storylines down to drop it. Okay, then you got some uh, Twitter post. And Shen Koda clearly mourned the storyline that the, the writers had in mind for him in the series. Nabu functions as the go between connecting New York crime boss Wilson Fisk to the hand of a Japanese ninja clan with grand plans of its own. Blind vigilante daredevil Troy Cox becomes the fly in the ointment and it has an epic fight with Naboo at the end of season one. That had apparently results in the ninja's demise, but he's back and badder than ever in the show's second season as the hand continues to make life difficult for the hero of Hell's Kitchen and fulfill its mission to create the ultimate weapon known as the Black Sky. According to Shinkoda, the writers had worked out some component backstory for Naboo to explain his season two return. It was very interesting storyline about having to go to New York under the guise of getting some kind of transplant for medical reasons. A lot of paperwork and bureaucracy was fudged so that Naboo could get into the country and then carry out his Black Sky plans. The actor said, all that backstory was dropped and the writers told me they had regretted it because they were so stoked about including that in his storyline. But they have presented the fact that so I had to concoct another storyline and rock the material that I was given, but regretfully I didn't get to ever explore that Daredevil was cancelled back in 2018 and Netflix's remaining Marvel shows ended the following year. Loeb departed Marvel Television at the end of 2019. Later on the live stream, the actor revealed that neither he nor Wei Chung Ho were even invited to attend Daredevil's second season premiere. 
I'm sitting at home watching commercials of me fighting people, you remember. And Coda posted that story on Twitter as well as received an outpouring of support. So if you go to Twitter and you see a Twitter post from Peter Shinkoda, you might want to let me know what your thoughts are about that. I'm not going to spend too much time on these tweets. There's so much more stuff I can do, so I apologize. So Shinkoda was joined on the live stream by two other Daredevil supporting players. An editor-in-chief of the fictional New York Tabloid and New York Bulletin, and Tommy Walker, who played Fisk's henchman, Francis Cantor, spoke up after Shinkoda described Loeb's actions, asking his co-star whether he thinks things might have played out differently if Daredevil was being made in 2020 versus 2015. He says, I absolutely do, Shinkoda replied. People are more familiar and less in denial about the issues that we're dealing with nowadays. I think it would be approached a hell of a lot more delicately. Walker added that Hollywood's renewed emphasis on diversity would likely also have changed the complexion of Netflix's most controversial moral series, Iron Fist. When the YV Pan show premiered in 2017, it was criticized for casting a white actor, Finn Jones, instead of seizing an opportunity to rethink characters who had traditionally been white in the comics, and cast an Asian lead, and in fact, it was later disclosed that Marvel TV had considered cast an Asian American actor, Louis Tan, as Iron Fist, before ultimately deciding on Jones. I personally think it would have been a really interesting dynamic to see this Asian American guy who's not in touch with his Asian roots go and get in touch with them and discover his power. Tanville told Vulture in 2017, I think that's super interesting and we've never seen that. Tan eventually played on the show's villains, Zhou Chang. Tantor alluded to that behind the scenes story on the hashtag Save Daredevil Con live stream, gently ch child chiding Marvel for not being more ambitious in its casting. I thought, wouldn't it have been interesting to real explore the racial disconnect if they made Iron Fist half Asian, half non Asian? Where did that? fit anywhere so that you could have brought such grace and intelligence to a topic through this genre. If they missed any opportunity to show what they were made of, I thought perhaps it was Iron Fist Universe, Walker noted, that former Daredevil producer Doug Petrie had ideas for the Iron Fist that were along those lines. Again, they were very thoughtful and progressive for the time, Walker continued. I think it would be handled very different these days. Shinkoda agreed that his past hopefully would be a prologue for future Marvel projects, which includes the upcoming movie Shang Chi and Legend of Ten Rings, featuring Kim's convenience star Simi Liu as the company's first big screen Asian superhero. I have confidence the actor remarked and Marvel fans have his back. And then Daredevil and Iron Fist are still streaming on Netflix. So there you go, guys. That's just a little bit of information I want to tell you about. We're going with Daredevil news. So if you guys enjoyed this content, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And you guys have a nice day. Bye.